everything turned around with warlords. And after a couple of years, everything turned around with a religion. So there's no religion, there's no warlord, everything is political. And they want everybody else to follow them and what they want in Somali to be. And other people are against that and they're not agreeing. So there's pretty much this big disagreement going on. If you come out of your house, like if you go shopping, you don't know if you're going to come back uh, alive or not. They kill my father and my big brother and my young brother. I think it become part of survival, you know, uh, to kill because, you know, when this guy has, you know, like uh, two or three kids and he doesn't have any way of uh, feeding them except, you know, like to get hired for that, you know, uh, warlord guy who is giving him a gun and say, you know, like, I'll pay you a hundred dollars if you take this gun and, you know, like, do whatever I tell you. Um, he will do it, and that's, you know, uh, what they do. So everybody wants safety, then you know, you don't learn anything just to help yourself and to save yourself from, from anything, from anybody. They need a paper or they need a lot of money to cross the border, so... Because the Kenya, they just, you know, they don't want the people coming in. They, they don't know the people. They scared kind of like uh, al Shabab team, so they don't allow to, to cross the border. My big brother live in refugee camp. My little sister, she live different camp. Uh, my other uh, two sisters, two brothers, they stay in Somalia. You can't tell what they feel, but they say, okay, we're okay, because the phone, you connect them, they don't tell you the right one, they just say, I'm, we're okay. Means I know they just, they live South Somalia, South Somalia is the worst in country, but North Somalia is okay, but down South is bad, so they, they can't explain what they feel. So a lot of people, when they get a chance to leave, that's like the happiest day they will have. They'll be so happy. If somebody says, oh, let me take you. You want to come to America? You want to go to Europe? That's a good good opportunity for them, and they'll be, they want to be happy about that too. So at least they can start their life somewhere else and be happy and live a normal life. I was born in um, Mogadishu, Somalia. As the rest of you know, the Somalia community here, I evacuated in Somalia in 1991. I haven't went back since then. Um, I've been in refugee camps the uh, first 10 years. Um, I got lucky to get here, come here in the U.S. in 2001. From what I heard before, you know, like, U.S. is the um, land of immigrants. And most of the people, you know, in U.S., they come from, you know, like, in different places. That, that's what makes you know, United States the United States. Personally, I'm very, very happy to be here, and I'm really appreciating for, you know, the U.S. government, which gave me a chance to come here. And I think even, you know, like those who came here before us, you know, might be, you know, 50, 100 years ago, they had, you know, like maybe same struggles we have today. First, I came to uh, San Diego, California. I moved around a little bit in different states, like uh, Virginia, Wisconsin, and I went back to San Diego again, stayed for a while, and I moved from San Diego right now to Jamestown. So how does Jamestown compare to those other places? Um, Jamestown is a small town. It's a good place to raise a family. It's a very quiet place. I liked it. 